Welcome sports fans to this is SportsZone.com World Cup preview. I'm your host Gennady and uh, let's get started. Uh, the World Cup kicks off on Thursday, June 12th. And it's going to start off with Brazil and Croatia in the first game, the opening match. Brazil is the host country. And they have advantage being the host. Most host nations do very well in, in the, the World Cup due to the environment and obviously the fans being behind them. Uh, the first game is Brazil and Croatia. Brazil is a loaded team, obviously a huge favorite this year uh, with uh, the biggest stars Neymar, but they have uh, a litany of other players uh, which are considered world class. Um, Croatia, Mexico, and Cameroon make up the rest of Group A. Mexico actually has a very, very hard time qualifying this year's World Cup, but they are a perennial favorite, very good team for the most part. Um, they should give uh, Brazil uh, a run for their money in this group. Uh, Brazil lost in the, uh, in the World Cup final in 1950, and that was the last time they hosted the World Cup, and they lost to Uruguay, so they're going to want a measure of revenge. Uh, this being the uh, this is the second time they're hosting the World Cup, they want to they want to win it because 1950 was a very famous year uh, where Uruguay beat Brazil in the final game, and Brazil was heavy fa heavily favored in that game. Um, Mexico also beat Brazil in the 2012 Olympics, which makes for an in interesting storyline. Now the Olympics aren't as uh, let's say uh, you know soccer oriented as the World Cup is, obviously, but still Mexico beat Brazil in the 2012 Olympics, and I'm sure Brazil wants a measure of revenge on that. Croatia's best player, uh, Marian Mandzukic, is actually out for the first game against Brazil, which is going to hurt their chances to advance. Um, Cameroon rounds out the group. Solid team. Sammy Leto is the big star on that team. He's been around for a little while. I still give Brazil and Mexico the advantage in this group. I think they're, going, they're both going to advance. Moving on to Group B, it's one of the most interesting groups of the uh, of the tournament, which consists of Spain, the Netherlands, Chile, and Australia. Now, Ch uh, Spain and the, ne and the Netherlands actually played in the final of the World Cup in 2010 in South Africa, and it was a great match, but uh, Holland was outmatched offensively, and they resorted to some not-so-classy tactics. Uh, but Spain, which uh, is a perennial powerhouse and has won the last three major tournaments, including the 2010 World Cup, as well as the 2008 and 2012 Euro Cup, which is one of the biggest tournaments in the world, uh, I feel they're on the, on the downside at this point. Uh, they do have an interesting storyline involving Diego Costa, one of their strikers, who's actually born in Brazil but plays for Spain. I'm sure he's going to get a nice Bronx, Bronx jeer uh, from the Brazilian fans. Uh, Australia, an interesting team as well. They have some good soccer fans, the Socceroos. They recently moved from the uh, Oceania Conference into the Asian Conference, but still were able to make the World Cup. Uh, so uh, they should be somewhat of a tough challenge for uh, Spain and Holland, uh, as well as Chile. Chile is a very young team with a lot of really good players. Uh, but I feel in this group it's going to be the Netherlands and Chile that will advance. It's a big upset. I don't think Spain is going to make it. I think age has caught up with them and all the tournaments they've played. I just believe that it's uh, they're they're probably gonna, they're due for a letdown.